On today's show, Barb and I are going to make a southern style mashed potatoes. Delicious. And the instant mashed potatoes, we're going to make them with milk and cream and cheese. Let's get started. back to the Diabetic Diet Show, and here's Barb with the question of the day. Do you like potatoes? If you like potatoes, give me a thumbs up. Let's start out with the mashed potatoes. Boiling the water seems to take the longest. So the way I do this is I get my fire going on my pot, and I use equal amounts of water that I do to my potatoes. So. Here is my water, and this is a nice hot fire I have going here. Just like that. Then I have the milk. So there is your milk, and I also have cheese. package. There we go. That is great. Then we'll wait and bring it to a boil. When it comes up to a boil, then we can put our potatoes in. It's just starting to boil. Let's go through some of our ingredients. Of course, the milk that we use is one of these little containers because for the potatoes you need about a quarter of a cup so not much so that works out the math just perfect like that then for potatoes I'm just using any brand of instant mashed potato I don't think there's any difference from one to another if anybody thinks there's a better brand than another you can leave me a comment let me know what you think and I just store it in a Ziploc bag to keep them fresh. The cream I'm using is a heavy whipping cream, any brand. Have that all measured out. This is starting to boil. I can put my salt in here. I'm putting in double salt. And then some pepper. Mix this up. I like to use plastic. Okay, fantastic. You know, you have to stay here and watch when you're doing something like that. Because once it gets to that level, it really wants to rise. Then I have my potatoes. You have to stir them in slowly. Probably not a good time to have any kids around while you're doing this with boiling hot milk. Next I use a Pyrex bowl. I'm putting it on the fire here, kind of medium low heat have a full stick of unsalted butter that I'm going to melt up. I put a lid on it because it was kind of splashing a little bit. That's the moisture in the butter. You could also do it in the microwave if you just want to start the butter. You can just start it in the microwave. And I'm just going to put the mashed potatoes in the bowl. Carefully so I don't splash. Okay, then I have a mixer. Now 
Now these are going to be fantastic because the amount of air that is getting in these potatoes right now and all the ingredients are getting thoroughly mixed and blended in. There we go. People are going to be sitting around campfire telling stories about Grandpa James's mashed potatoes. And if you want, you can do them from scratch with whole potatoes, but I don't always think you need to. They look delicious. All the butter. Wow. a well in my potatoes. That's where my gravy is going. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> that's, that's great. Wow, if you like making things like this, here's two more just like it.